We're a power parachute and we build uh, VR simulators and this is our uh, biggest simulator, the power gliding experience. Uh, we try to give uh, people uh, as real as possible experience uh, according to power gliding. Uh, we strip them in in the real fast uh, at magnets so they can really have the free fall experience and during uh, the whole experience they really can look around and see the whole environment and see uh, and interact with the world by pulling the cords. The machine's going up. People are real feel the ground feeling. According to paragliders we got in, they're they're really excited about the real feeling, and they uh, really want to use it as an experience of agility, uh, just to train or uh, uh, train for emergency situations, etc. So, do you think this would be used by the by the military in, in the future? Yes, definitely. It's going to be used by the military in the future. I think VR at all will yeah is already used and will be even more used in the future, and especially as a machine. It's a cheap way, efficient way to train different situations uh, in a real low level. So in the beginning phase of a, a military training, it could work very well without jumping uh, first. So I think it will be it has a really good future. The guy is controlling with his hands, he can go left and right. And if he pulls both, it goes a little bit slower. And you've got like the, the wave uh, forward. And you can look. 360 degree, you can see your own body. Of course, it's not a real human body, but it's still a body. And uh, yeah, now she's landing. And yeah, even the landing can feel really real because you have the real swing.